what is up my beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl stella aka stla aka fairy box up baby i hope that each and every one of you are having a very blessed and a beautiful day and that you are saying kind things to yourselves and to others before i jump into this reading i would like to also give a quick little disclaimer that i am not legally responsible for anything that you do or do not do based on this reading this is all strictly advice and suggestion based on what I see in the cards. If you liked it, if it resonated, consider leaving me a thumbs up and a comment down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. And if you would like to book with me, you can do so through my email or through my Etsy shop. And without further ado, Scorpio, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the intuitive messages that came out while I was meditating over your energy. And then we can go ahead and jump into the tarot reading. I'm going to give you guys a cleaned up version and then we can go more in depth onto everything that came up while I was in this meditative state. So the overall message that came out was finally able to separate your energy from everybody else's, no longer sacrificing your needs so everybody else's needs can be met first. And your psychic gifts and abilities are on point this week and stronger than ever. So very important energy that we're dealing with right now, transforming our energy from what it used to be into something better and more in alignment with who we actually are, right? We're going in from one stage of a cycle into another stage in a different cycle, okay? So transforming completely, that is the major energy today is just a lot of transformation, a lot of transmutation, right? And Scorpio, you guys tend to be taking on everybody's load, right? And so you guys could deal with a lot of anger issues, a lot of bipolar, BPD, a lot of mental mental disorders, right? Because you're so it's psychically intuitive and empathic that you tend to take on everybody else's energy and really like embody that. So it's easy for you to just like snap at any given point because you have so much of everybody else's energy that it can be overwhelming, right? As soon as you're triggered, it's like, it's overwhelming. And this is why a lot of people think Scorpios are so intense because you guys, you are very intense and it's not even like it's necessarily your fault. It's just how your energy moves with the energy around you. So I think it's really cool and important that you're actually starting to separate yourself from everybody else and you're no longer doing the people pleasing stuff. You're really just, you're out for yourself and it's not in a way that is superficial. It's actually very important that you are out for yourself because if you're not focused on keeping your energy right and keeping your energy in alignment, you could accidentally set somebody else off into a different path than where they need to be, right? You could accidentally trigger somebody else. So it's really important to keep ourselves in alignment and keep our energy pure. And now you're starting to really focus on the purity of your energy and saying no to other people and saying yes to you. Because when you take on everybody else's problems, what you're really doing is you're saying no to yourself. You're eliminating your energy. And now you're like, embodying the self, embodying your energy and collectively breathing that in and just like really feeling the ebb and flow of everything around you. I also got that this is a very abundant week. This is your energy being transformed and transmuted into alignment with you is attracting a lot more of what is you, a lot more divine reflections of you, which is very abundant, which is an outpour of abundance, okay? getting more in tune with your gifts, your psychic abilities, your intuition being really on point. The color purple was very significant. It actually was, it popped out a lot. The color purple is very vibrant. It deals with the crown chakra. It's also a royal color. And the color green also came out, which is the heart chakra. So very, very good, very welcoming energies here. And the number 339. So that is all of the messages that came out during meditation. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tarot reading. Hey, Scorpio, Scorpio, what we got? I just saw the wheel. So the wheel of fortune is turning. It's your turn to experience the... Here we go. came back out. It's your turn to experience the good fortune. It's your turn to experience your own energy. It's your turn to really embody all of you. All that 
is you, right? Which is very abundant, which is an outpour of abundance. We have the magician here, which is taking your energy back and not letting people take energy from you that you're not willing to give. Not sacrificing yourself so much, not putting yourself second, not dealing with everybody else's BS, and really focusing on getting this negativity out of you. Maybe you're doing a lot more spell work. You could be really doing a lot of shadow work here. You could be dealing with an Aries and this being around this Aries has always caused you problems because you are always taking on their problems and Aries are very intense as well. They're a lot of fire. They're a lot of passion. They're a lot of, they're like, you know, a lot and paired with Scorpio where you guys are water and you're also very intense water energy that creates a lot of steam, that creates a lot of friction, right? So eliminating this energy and really figuring out what is you and what is them. We have the Four of Pentacles coming out here. So holding on to your coin, holding on to your energy, holding on to your abundance. This could be you moving and starting over, getting a new job, trying something new for yourself, really wanting to just experience all that life has to offer because it feels like in the past you just... You haven't got the fullness of life because you've just been dealing with everybody else's lives and living their lives and being who they wanted you to be and who you thought they wanted you to be and morphing and shifting and shaping and not really knowing, you know, your truest, highest self. And now you're really embodying your truest, highest self. And so you're just really wanting that. You're really coming into that energy and feeling that energy. And that's super dope. Then we have the hangman, which is somebody who's just kind of hanging around, who's just enjoying their time, not really in a hurry, somebody who's just embracing the magic that is around them and tuning themselves into this magic that is around them. You could be doing aerial arts, you could be doing aerial yoga, right? You see how she's hanging in that hammock there? Or you could just be dancing and just trying new things, trying something different to really get that fullness of life like we talked about. The Six of Cups is somebody who is reflecting on the past and looking back with nostalgia. You could be looking back when you were a child and you're like, man, I was so happy then. I really knew myself then. How did this happen? You know, where did I turn that made me become this people pleaser and oftentimes we do this as an adaptability skill that we pick up in order to get our needs met right we morph and we shift into who our parents wanted us to be so that we could get the attention that we needed so that we could get the food that we needed so that we could get the care that we needed because otherwise our parents wouldn't give it to us right like when you have a lot of pressure to be the best kid in school to always show up to always have the house clean to you know always live up to the standard that it's really hard for kids to live up to because kids are kids right you get this idea in your head that if you're not a goody two-shoes if you're not a perfectionist if you're not exactly who your parents wanted you to be you're not worth anything and that's an illusion that's very false right so that's something that we're letting go of that's something that we're releasing we're letting go of the ideology that somebody else taught us that we needed to be in order to become more of who we actually are. And when we become more of who we actually are, we become better for everybody else around us, ourselves included, especially ourselves, right? Because we become more realistic, we become more in tune, we become more whole, right? And when we're whole, we don't have these fragmented bits of us that are affecting the people around us and, you know, influencing, influencing negative behaviors out of everybody else, right? Like it's, it's almost as if we have this tendency to favor bad things and to go towards bad things. However, in a world where there is so much chaos going on, the most important thing that we need is for leaders to step up and show people an alternate path. And in order to go down that alternate path, you have to be the brave one to do it. And I feel as if you're the brave one to do it and you're initiating this and you're going in and you're opening up new opportunities not just for yourself but for other people to show them that there is another way that you don't have to be like this that you can be happy that you can enjoy yourself that you don't always have to be this perfect person that graduated college and has the nine to five with the six figures and the degree and the family. You don't have to be that person. If you're not that person, that's not for you. That's not your life path, 
right? And a lot of people get depressed because from an early age, we're told that we need to be this way, otherwise we're worthless. And that is so destructive to children and to adults and to everybody in society because it is so messed up and misconceived and it's just it a false illusion that a lot of people will never meet because they were never supposed to meet that. They were never supposed to be that. They were never supposed to be that person. Some of us were meant to be nomads. Some of us were meant to be farmers. Some of us were meant to have our own business without ever going to college. Some of us were meant to be stay at home, you know, husbands and wives. Like there's so many different life paths out there that we don't talk about or put up on a pedestal because it doesn't make the government money right and our parents they only taught us what they knew okay so there's a need here to also give forgiveness to your parents because they did as best as they could and even though we think that maybe they could have done better what what are we, what are we going to do about it like it's already too late we can't change the past we have to go back look at it with eyes of love forgive them forgive them forgive ourselves and allow ourselves to really open up to the potential that is it that is right in front of us excuse me that is right in front of us that is truly unfolding here right in front of us because it's very very beautiful and i feel like you're just you're really in tune with that energy overall you're really in tune with that energy and you're no longer willing to sacrifice who you are for somebody else because you realize the importance of being true to you will never not be super important and that's amazing that's so beautiful scorpio but that is all the messages that I'm going to have for today. That's where I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I am exhausted. I hiked for four hours today. And I'm just, I'm just KO'd, okay? I'm just ready to take me a little nap. But I wanted to get on here and give you guys some messages. If you guys liked it, if it resonated, consider leaving me a thumbs up and a comment down below. It truly means the world to me. And subscribe if you want to. Turn on that notification bell if you want to. And without further ado, peace, love, and light, Scorpio. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.